uh, eight zero eight six. How many bit processor is uh, eight zero eight six? Can you recollect the same? How many bit processor is eight zero eight six? Can you answer? Put it in chat. Microprocessor, sir. Okay. H R S X is a microprocessor. Okay, it is a sixteen-bit processor. Okay, I told you that I will give you some uh, uh, differences between uh, microprocessor and microcontroller, and show you a diagram. Okay, with that uh, you should be you will be able to understand uh, the differences. That is initial or fundamental differences or basic differences uh, you will know. Okay, and. Uh, Uh, this is a simple thing only introduction to microcomputer system okay this is normal block diagram of a computer only okay a bigger computer we are using and uh, this one is a smaller computer okay meantime ask everyone to come to class okay uh, this is a microcomputer okay what it contains uh, you know, normally a system contains consists of a cpu memory input output devices input output devices means uh, as another name or as uh, peripherals Okay, and this important term that uh, repeatedly we will be using it in our uh, subject peripherals. Peripheral means uh, uh, any devices. Okay, uh, any devices that you're going to connect with your uh, micro pro and connect with your system is called as peripheral devices. Okay, so how these are connected? Okay, how uh, how these are connected? Okay, these are connected through buses. Okay. Bus uh, means uh, the set of uh, wires will be there. No, some white color will be there. You will be putting it in a slot, no, in your uh, motherboard, and no? all. Okay, that is called as uh, bus wire. Okay, so see here, uh, this looks something like your uh, block diagram of your uh, computer. Okay, so uh, instead of uh, CPU, I'll say that it is a microprocessor unit. Okay, MPU. Okay, mu p in this term, so we can call it. Okay. Always your CPU is the master here. Your CPU or the microprocessor is the master devices. Okay, I told you that uh, you cannot connect anything directly to your computer. Likewise, you cannot connect anything directly to your uh, your microprocessor. Okay, that is any memory device. You cannot connect directly connect here. Okay, you cannot directly connect this memory device to this uh, CPU. Okay, and then input output devices like a keyboard or a, uh display devices everything will be there you cannot connect this directly to the microprocessor okay so how you can connect means you can connect it through this interface okay so this interface i told you know uh, that is uh, when you are fixing an uh, uh, pen drive to your uh, uh, system means uh, you are not directly connected to the processor or the motherboard okay but through uh, some slot only you are going to connect it okay that is known as the interface Okay, so directly this cannot be connected. इधर इन्ना अर्पण बतना इधर वन दो IC. For T P I C show you know this is the IC. Okay, so everything that is you need to have some interface and add connected. Okay, there are three important buses that you saw the previous class. That is address bus, data bus, and control bus. Address bus, okay, address will be transferred through the address bus. Okay, likewise there are certain addresses for your uh, uh, while doing programming. Okay, like thousand hundred, thousand one not one, thousand one not two, like that. There are addresses like addresses like thousand two hundred. All those addresses. Addresses means uh, in the memory you will be using it as arrays, starting number only. If it, I am telling that it is eleven hundred, eleven not one, eleven not two, like that. Yes, it is a starting address. Okay, it will go uh, go like that. It will be going. Okay, those are the addresses. Okay, and data. You have to send something to the microprocessor to do the manipulations. Okay, like uh, a number like five, a number like three. You want to add it in a microprocessor means you have to send to this uh, data. Okay, and then control buses. This microprocessor or the CPU has to read it. Okay, or it has to write it. Okay, it has the input device will be there, output device will be there. Either you have to read it or write it, and many manipulation has to be done. Okay, through Control bus. It will be done through this control bus. Understand? So if there is keyboard or if there is some monitor, means okay, through an interface, input or interface only, you have to connect it to the microprocessor. Okay. There are memories are there. Okay. These memories are connected to the interface. Okay. To the memories, these are all wires only. 
okay the instructions that is uh, the bus will be connected to this uh, uh, memory and then it is connected to this interface and then it is connected to the microprocessor like this only you have to add kind you have to make the connections so address bus data bus and control bus on the whole it is called as system bus okay so this is the system bus there are three buses address data and control buses okay so see you know no, memory ram rom is there cpu is there peripheral devices input and output devices are peripheral devices okay so internally this the uh, these functions can be done addition subtraction and logical functions everything can be done okay uh, in a microprocessor okay whereas uh, 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 sensing sensor is uh, uh, sensing some smoke and it wants to give that data to the microprocessor means external only okay or you are going to type something means through a keyboard only you can type it those are all external so work done by the external so reading writing okay by input output devices okay all those are called as external okay so this is external so which is the master so microprocessor is the master or other devices are the slave devices if you are having a sensor means it is the same de slave device okay so master will do the manipulations and then it will give the instructions to the slave or it will get the information from the slaves so that is the microprocessor buses this system is a bundle of wires we call it as a uh, uh, bus Okay, bus is a bundle of wires that are grouped together to serve a single purpose. These are the three bus address, data, and control buses. So, on a whole, this is called a system bus. What is that? System bus consists of address bus, data bus, and then control bus. Okay, you can see the same in the third diagram. Okay, uh, you said me that the microprocessor is a 16 bit microprocessor. Yes, HRA6 microprocessor is a 16 bit. Uh, 16 -bit uh, 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 16-bit microprocessor, where uh, it can hold, uh, uh, it, it will be having some uh, uh, memory, 16-bit memory it will be having, okay, 8-bit uh, 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 manipulations also can be done, 16-bit manipulations can also be done, okay, and uh, it, it, the data will be transferred uh, to the microprocessor or transferred uh, from the microprocessor through the data buses to the data buses so data bus control bus okay different signals there is a read signal for memory there's a write signal for memory there's a read signal for uh, input output devices or read write signal for input output devices okay that is all the work of the control okay different memories okay and then input output devices the keyboard uh, the displays video and then modem everything are input output uh, devices.